Let's make sure we're coming in live. Drop in my tutoring session. Nice. Hi everyone. How are you doing? This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is uh, January 19th, 2021, and it's our second live stream for the day. Uh, we just did a quick sort of a comic book live stream, uh, sort of a weird surprise live stream. And uh, we're doing a math drop in session. And this is math drop in session number 68, approximately number 68. Uh, I started number numbering these after the fact. And um, we've done a few of these, as you can guess. And it's basically me making myself available for a couple of hours to help people out with mathematics uh, if they need it. And um, there's a lot of people that drop in here. And uh, if I can't help you out, there might be someone else that can help you out uh, with the mathematics. And we do have a Discord page where people come in every now and then. And uh, sort of the discussion sometimes carries over to the Discord page uh, when someone needs help. And uh, we sort of try to deal with it. Um, aside from that, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a great start to your new year. And um, while we wait for notifications to go out, hopefully notifications will go out. Sometimes notifications don't go out when there's um, sort of back to back live streams or two streams and or two streams in one day and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, we go. We are live, so that's a good thing. Uh, aside from that, if you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know, uh, if you want to follow and uh, know what we're doing, uh, Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls, everything's creative commons. Share, share, like, okay. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much. For the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this so wholeheartedly thank you very much um, for supporting this work we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat that might be popping up here at some point twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you uh who are following this work on twitch uh joining the streams and for the mods uh thank you very much for being here and taking care of business okay i don't think notifications have gone out by the way gang uh but we'll see where it goes for live streams scheduled live streams usually before we go live i announce the streams 30 minutes before we go live this time because we had the other live stream and i got caught up doing the stuff i announced this live stream about 10 minutes before we went live so i do announce these live streams before we go live on minds vk elo gab parlor when it comes back online and twitter and again we do have a discord page and you can come to our chat anytime on twitch and punch in exclamation mark social and the social links will pop up and in the bottom there that's our discord page that you can join okay and uh for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do announce the live streams on not announce the live streams upload the audio for live streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this video to youtube bitshoot rumble and odyssey and if you are on those platforms, you can uh, support those, uh, support this work on uh, YouTube by joining YouTube membership. And there's a button there. And on those platforms, you can follow, you can like, you can share, you can comment, uh, and whatnot. Thanks for being here, gang. Donnie Tay, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Uncharted is hey, Chicho, hope you and chat are well. Hope you got your haul sorted out. I, you know what, man? I went on, and uh, for those that might not know, I, I did a comic book haul last month. I bought a comic book lot, multiple lots from this one seller that was getting rid of their comic books, uh, and I did the purchase in November. The purchase was finalized in November, uh, twenty 
27th. I just looked it up, November 27th. So it's almost two months ago. And the guy sent me the books and we got the books like a month later and we did a comic book haul or three weeks later and we did a comic book haul. Cheesy monkey, how are you doing? And we did a gigantic comic book haul. Like it was a short box, uh, short box and another half a short box, right? So almost a full box. It was 100, um, 180 comic books, right? That we did. And it ended up costing me $270, including shipping all in, right? Canadian, by the way. And it was a great haul. Like whatever we got was a great haul. However, there was 13 books missing from that haul. And those 13 books were, out of the 13, 10 of them were key issues, right? There were first appearances, first penciled works, first ink works, uh, first issues. So there were a lot of firsts there, right? So there were some of the key issues from all the comic books that we got right and uh those comics weren't included getting fall is good though it is good though so those comic books weren't included so i messaged the guy I said listen you didn't include these 13 but that's the reason and the most expensive lot was that lot plus it had some of the comic so i said you didn't include those in there you know can you send them please and the guy goes oh sorry sorry i'll send them right away so he sent them to me he sent the packaging number and the packaging took forever it took like a month later right and i just got the package yesterday and i was all excited i wanted to crack it open but i i said okay we wait until we do a comic book haul right so we just cracked them open like an hour ago and he sent me gideon falls trade paperback one two three four instead of the 13 comic books that he was supposed to send me right and the 13 comic books were first penciled cover uh, first penciled work uh, first artwork of Todd McFarlane with Infinity Number Fourteen. His second official um, story work. Uh, it was a first appearance of Huntress. First appearance of Wild Dog. First appearance of uh, uh, Lady Cop. First appearance of um, uh, Kung Fu Fighter. Uh, first appearances. There was a few first appearances in there, right? And. Uh, they weren't in the package so i just went and you know sent a message fi not filed a claim sent them a message saying hey, listen you know i've been pretty patient uh i'm willing to give people the benefit of the doubt but uh, you know this is pretty far given the benefit of the doubt so i sent them a message and i went on ebay where you buy it and i said didn't receive the package so i filed a claim right uh but i didn't want refund i want the books and in the little notes in the thing it says ebay uh, this package is not guaranteed a money back guarantee under ebay's money back guarantee thing i'm like what so i haven't checked into that i don't know if it's money back guarantee or if chicho just got scammed um whatever it is the comics that we got was a great deal but those 13 comic books those 13 comic books alone would have been 200 plus dollars worth of comic books right so he sent me about 50 dollars Gideon falls one two three four would go for about you know anywhere between 30 to 50 dollars canadian right so i don't understand if it's a scam it's a weird kind of scam because <laughs> he sent me every, all the other books he paid for the shipping on this one he sent me gideon's falls like and he was selling gideon's falls in another lot that i didn't buy so he was selling Gideon's Fall. He sent me Gideon's Falls, paid for the packaging. Um, so I don't understand. It was a weird kind of scam, but it is what it is, right? Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Did I miss a comic stream? <laughs> you missed a you missed a weird comic book. And check this out. The the package is supposed to be coming from uh, Winnipeg, but then the tracking numbers from Winnipeg. But the person that sent it, the written hand address, is from Oshawa, Ontario. So I'm guessing the guy, he said he was moving Canada, moving from Canada, and he was dumping his comic books, and that's what it looked like. He was selling his comic books. So maybe he went to visit a friend in Oshawa. Oh, God, <laughs> I've been to Oshawa. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take these guys down, man. I'm going to take these guys down. Oshawa. I've been to Oshawa. I did a lot of geophysics there, environmental work there and stuff. Oshawa needs a lot of environmental uh, cleanup. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. It's just weird. 
I mean, I'm, I'm sort of laughing at it, but it's very unfortunate. I didn't have, uh, I had one of those comic books in my collection out of the 13. Uh, it was the cheapest one. Doujing Jason, thank you for the cheers. <laughs> Lots of cheers. Hey. <laughs> Where's my 13 comic books, man? <laughs> So I didn't I, I I didn't have any of those uh, any of those comic books in my in my collection. Fifty cheers, woo! <laughs> right on, twitching Jason. <laughs> fun, fun. It is what it is. So either you are being scammed or dealing with someone trying to sell comics to support a habit and just got confused on his sales maybe or someone and supposedly he's left the country already <laughs> maybe people are after him because he's been scamming people but supposedly he's in the uk now right uh so he's supposed to be in the uk he maybe he in the move he got confused but here's the kicker the books coming from winnipeg are coming from a bookstore <laughs> if you're in winnipeg the it, the tracking number is from Bison Books in Winnipeg. So I looked it up online. It's a gigantic bookstore. So I'm like, what in the world is going on? The the written, the handwritten address and name, and it's not the name of the person that's supposed to be sending these books, right? The handwritten address of the person is from Oshawa. The tracking number is from books coming from Winnipeg. And the guy says he's in the UK. I'm on the west coast of PC. What a shit show. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uh, or he, the guy's a complete moron. Really. He could be just... <laughs> it's just like, what? Let's do the mathematics on that. What? How does that work? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's very unfortunate. I was looking forward to getting, having those books in my collection. Really. I was looking forward to it. Uh, so it is what it is. It is what it is. If I can't get the refund, you know, we got scammed. We got scammed a little bit. Uh, I, I told them, look, reply to me by the end of the day. Why is it either super smart or super dumb people who manage stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny. I had one time, check this out. I had one time, I bought comics off eBay, right? And it was um, a tick. The tick number one to seven or something, the original run. Sounds like drop shipping from that bookstore. Maybe the bookstore made the error. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the kicker is the, the lot that I bought that those 13 books were supposed to be in had, it was a total number, of, it was like 39 books. So why were the, and there were other keys in there as well. Like that was the lot that contained uh the teenage mutant ninja turtles the the green lantern with the with the finger rings and that's a key as well uh turok uh first appearance of turok van valiant uh it had other keys in there as well why were these 13 books not there because they were the more expensive ones right uh that was actually what i was thinking it sounded like so it's like a drop uh drop shipping bison books is that what it is okay didn't think about that did the guy have good feedback yeah he, his feedback rating was only like 39 like he's not a high high volume seller he does this as a hobby and he he seems like a really nice guy right well, should i read you the the email that i sent him the message that i sent him here's the message that i sent him let me read this to you might as well and if there's any math questions gang mathematics can be comes before anything but this is this is the message that I sent him, right? Hold on, let me find it. And I, you know, I try to be really nice and stuff with with everyone, right? So uh, this is the message that I sent him, right? Uh, and by the way, before we read the message, gang, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, please see our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist. And, you know, I'm, I'm laughing, I'm giggling about this. I'm a little upset that I didn't get my comic books and, you know, we might have been scammed and all this jazz. But put everything in perspective, gang. This is not a big deal, what, I'm, what we're, we're talking about right now. 
big deal would be would be what's happening to Julian Assange, which is a publisher and journalist, someone who's doing incredible work for humanity, right? Seriously, has taken on the biggest evils in this world that we have that is being crucified by those powers, right? That is important, right? I would be willing to give up my whole complete collection of everything that I have for Julian Assange to go free, right? I would just burn it or give it to whoever, right? So none of this that we're talking about, these little minor hiccups in the real world matter on the grand scheme of things, right? It is our daily challenges and what makes life fun, right? What makes us learn from our experiences and stuff. But don't confuse what matters to humanity, to all of us, to the betterment of our societies, to everyday fluctuations that we have in life, right? So I take all of these things with a grain of salt. But this is what I sent the message, uh, message to the guy, all right? I said, hey, his name right I'm not sure what's going on but I got the package that you sent me the tracking number for but it wasn't the 13 books that I bought and that you were supposed to send this package contains the first four Gideon Falls trade paperbacks and the package came from someone else's name in Oshawa Ontario I'm not sure what the deal is here as I said before those 13 books were the reason I bit so high on that lot by spending the money there i lost out on some other auctions that i wanted to bid on and that is 100 percent true i there were some other things i really wanted to bid on not from him but someone else and i blew my budget on that one so i didn't bid on the other ones right continuing with the message i'm okay with a partial refund on the lot but considering the 13 books were the main keys the partial refund will have to be significant please reply to me asap as to how you want to handle this i'm probably going to file a claim by the end of the day today very disappointed man you seem like a very nice guy and i'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt but it's hard to do on this level right and it is hard to do on this level it's a little bit wacko <laughs> right? so that was my and i've exchanged other messages with the guy right that's a more reasonable reasonable that's a more more than reasonable i think so and i did this right after uh we finished the live stream earlier right so i was still like oh where are my books as a comic book collector you're like oh when you buy something they as any collector it, if you're a collector when you buy something it's precious to you irrelevant if it's beat up irrelevant if it's it's really expensive if it's a dollar comic or or dollar anything or you someone gifted it to you once you're a collector you give value and worth to something you wanted what you paid for i wanted what i paid for right good morning deck man how are you doing hello hello how was how is life hope uh, hope 2021 is treating people well man hope 21 21 is treating people well <laughs> Oh, funny, 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 funny. Anyway, we're here to do mathematics if there's any math uh, discussion going on, right? And uh, school systems are crazy right now, gang. If you're in school, you got my sympathies because it's wacko in Canada, the United States, anyway. Um, if you're out of school, um, really be considerate to those who are in school uh, there's a lot of kids that are struggling with what's going on right uh, especially extroverts especially those that need the uh, attention for them uh, to work things out to get over some of the hiccups that they may be having learning any subject especially mathematics and physics uh, sort of things that if you're missing one little piece it's very hard to grasp things that are being built on that concept right so be considerate to those who are in school who might be struggling who who need help um who might be feeling angry or depressed or sad uh, because a certain part of their lives 
And for some people, you know, going to school is very important to them. And youth in general is very important, the social awareness of it, right? Um, there's a little trauma there, right? I was talking to a friend yesterday and uh, she mentioned uh, in she knows people in different parts of the world where they've been in lockdown for a long time okay and uh, she mentioned specifically she knew people in Spain that have been in lockdown for a long time and uh, for a few months and she mentioned one of their one of their friends they have really young kids and those young kids have been in an apartment right for a few months now right and when the first the lockdown opened up a little bit and they were able to go to the park because that during that severe lockdown in spain i believe only one family member was allowed to go shopping and come out so they were living in the apartment and when the young kids went out to the park they were having a hard time adjusting to the perspective because when they're living in the apartment their eyesight is usually you're seeing within a room right so they weren't used to the vastness of nature so he said uh, she mentioned that the kids were really overwhelmed by the nature and the trees and the light and stuff like this which is something that i hadn't considered before right so there's a lot of things happening to our society that we're not aware right now okay Tuchin Jason, my younger brother has just started his college studies over the last few months and he has been absolutely taking the whole thing in stride. Super proud of him. Awesome, Tuchin Jason. You should be. You should be. Right? And kudos to him. Right? Deckman, I put off my last year of college because of all this. Did a half semester online and it was miserable. I'm studying film, which is so hands on. So online classes absolutely don't cut it props to your younger brother for sticking with it yeah props to jason's younger brother and the a deck man you're not the only one uh, there there's students that i know that have dropped out of certain classes that they're taking now they're taking correspondence trying to deal with that uh, and a lot of classes they've been gutted right not that they were they weren't gutted before but they're gutted even more now like there's a couple of chapters that they're not teaching like i have one student uh, in math 11 and one of the chapters that they took out was personal finance so they're not teaching personal finance like what it's crazy master west too do you have any advice for starting trigonometry i'm getting ready to start my uh, at my university but it's been a while since i have taken uh, a math class any advice uh, we can cover trig I could give you a really quick uh, a rundown on trig if you want uh, a really really I put together an amazing trigonometry playlist on YouTube it's fantastic okay so uh, here let me give you the playlist uh, for trig and it, it's it gives you an intro and it really depends um, uh, trick let me find it oh come on YouTube here's the train off tree let me grab it for you and really it's a fantastic playlist and it and it gives you the intro for it if you're thinking about just basic trigonometry where you need to figure out what Sokotoa is and stuff like this um, it's oh come on where are you da, 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 da. Uh, when you want to know what Sokotoa is and stuff like this, uh, we can go over that real quick. And there is videos for that as well. But this playlist takes you through trig from the get-go relation to like grade 12 pre-calc stuff, right? Related to a circle. After watching the first six videos of that, seven videos of that, and they're long, they're ASMR format, you should have a really good appreciation for what trig is uh gina Ch uh, chicho take a moment to consider the babies born from about november last year and the existential sadness of uh zoom play oh dude gina yeah yeah uh, like as soon as my friend told me this like she told me this um, 
yesterday or day before i can't remember yesterday no yesterday anyway as soon as she mentioned it all of a sudden i was like oh wow yeah and just babies born and just the stress level in with people and by the way if you guys aren't aware if you don't have friends that have had children and stuff like this when mothers families uh, have kids right newborns there's a serious support group there for women who are pregnant as well as when they first have their child right they get together in in groups to have play dates uh like gina says zoom play dates like playtime they touch they hug they kiss uh they they lash out they learn how to interact together as children right and what happens is that also relieves a lot of stress for the parents because when they get together in play dates for example let's say three four five uh mothers and fathers get together right they throw a little potluck and the kids get to play together that's a break for the parents right so they can de-stress so the trauma involved in this is huge huge and it's not you know there's the senior citizens are going through it. a lot of people are going through it felix hello hello again how are you doing <laughs> you're laughing away joe five six six five eight i have a question about the concept of division that i've I had trouble with for a while for sure ask away let's deal with it and uh master wes oh fantastic thank you should we go through oh you for the playlist Ma master wes take a look at that just skim through it let me know if you want me to do a little intro to trig right now okay as far as the division goes joe let us know what what's your uh, question regarding division i had a math exam felix earlier today on differentiation and trigonometric algebra cool 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 heavy 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 donite touch touch through the zoom playlist yeah it like just like if you ever seen kids especially toddlers when they play they walk up to each other and they just hug each other right it's like watching cats play right they they hug each other they jump on each other and whatnot so it's important go ahead joe um master says i'll give the play uh, playlist a watch and see uh, where um i'm having trouble yeah okay and master uh, master west keep in mind when i uploaded those trigonometry videos uh at the time youtube had the opportunity or had the option to do um annotations so you're going to see things pop up where it says skip and youtube in their stupidity removed annotations there's a youtube has been doing so many stupid things for the last few years it's beyond belief right but they removed their uh, options for annotations right so if you need to skip the sort of a asmr parts where i'm doing a circle and this like this you can skip to the appropriate time frame i might have put the uh table of contents in the description of the videos as well okay so you can skip that stuff use integrato find the area under oh integration felix i can't do integration right now um we can deal with the it's just uh, i i've totally forgotten i would have to do review okay uh joe i'm gonna deal with the division as soon as i catch up with the chat speedy gonzalez style uh cheryl how are you doing welcome welcome uh libraries are still hosting interactive time for infants through uh, pre-kindergarten only the moms need to keep their distance ah cool that's great cheryl greetings from germany greetings greetings tim how are you doing i hope all families have something like that right now i hope so too right thanks my pleasure and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital is power to humanity okay joe one of the ways so this is division one of the ways to uh interpret division is we 
are splitting a number into an equal number of parts. For example, dividing six by three is two because if we split six into three equal pieces, each piece is two. Perfect. How do we make sense of this when dividing by a non integer such as 1.3 or 0.7? What does it mean to split six into 0.7? Uh, so three into two pieces uh, or one point converted to fractions okay converted to fractions and you can look at it in the integer form okay or uh, into 0.7 or 1.3 equal parts does this way of interpreting division just not make sense when dealing with non integers I would say division to me is fractions right so think about it this way. Let's take a look, right? So let's say you're doing this. Uh, for your example, you're dividing six by three or two. Uh, uh, dividing six by three is two because three pieces. So if you do it visually, right? If you got six, right? Uh, well, let's do it just by numbers. Let's do it by numbers. So if you're doing six divided by three, right? Now, the division, if you're going to do this, convert to multiplication, right? Six times, and this is three over one. And when you're doing this, you flip this and it becomes one over three, right? So six times one over three and six is just over one. This turns into six divided by three, which is equal to two. So you're taking six, breaking it into three pieces that have two each right so let's deal with a fraction let's say you're taking 6 and dividing it by 0 0.7 right so 0 0.7 convert to a fraction okay so this becomes 6 divided by 0 0.7 is a fraction is 7 over 10 right now how do you do division you do division by going 6 you change it to multiplication and you flip this so it becomes 10 over 7 right now multiply this out well top multiplies top bottom multiplies bottom so this is 60 divided into seven pieces so what you're doing if you're going to think about it as integers convert it into integers the top into an integer and the bottom into an integer so what 6 divided by 0.7 is means really as a comparison direct comp comparison sort of a, something that you can wrap your head around visually you're taking 60 and divide it into seven equal pieces right and whatever this turns out into what is this well this turns out into we can do the multiplication with the division right oh sorry we're not going to do the multiplication by the division let's do the division let's do long division here uh, seven sixty right seven doesn't go into six it goes into 60 how many times it goes into it eight times eight times seven is 56 subtract you get four well now you add your zero you add your decimal bring the zero down seven into 40 is five so that's 35 this becomes five you add another zero bring it down seven into 50 is seven times which is 49 so that becomes one bring down another zero and so on and so forth right so uh oh yeah and uh <laughs> for sure and you can convert it into uh what do you call it uh, mixed number right but as a decimal it would be as a mixed number this would be thank you graham by the way so eight seven goes into eight uh seven goes into 68 times and what's left over four over seven right if we didn't continue this it would be four over seven right so it would be four over seven right as a decimal it would be eight point five seven one dot 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 whatever it is okay that's the way you can visualize it if you want if you want to visualize it in terms of integers right because this makes it an integer does that make sense and dividing by any number which is on a number scale 
right? If this is zero, this is negative one, and this is one, open circle doesn't include that, open circle doesn't include that. If you divide any number, any number by anything between, which is greater than, let's say you're dividing any number by x, and x is greater than negative one, but less than one, so if x is between negative one and one, if you divide any number by any number that is between negative one and one, it makes the number bigger, right? Which is a sort of a weird thing. So one of the first weird things that students encounter when they're doing division, it's like, wait a second, you're dividing this by a number. Why is six, why is six now bigger? Because you're dividing by 0.7 and 0.7 it would be here 0 0.7 so if you divide any number by a number that is between negative 1 and 1 the number gets bigger right why because if you convert that number that decimal there's decimals beyond this but people refer to this decimal this number to a fraction it's really if you're dividing by it you flip it so the 10 or the hundred or whatever it is is on the top and the other numbers in the bottom so the number is getting bigger all right does that help uh, I know I didn't do the visual part but it, it just it doesn't make sense when you're going into this level okay for me it's easier to look at it in terms of fractions point seven can go into six more times than one can go into six nice way of putting it crap Point seven can go into six, right? More times than one can go into six. That's a great way of saying a graph. I'm jacking that. I'm going to start using that. Thank you for that, by the way. And gang, keep this in mind. I don't give a rat's ass how good any teacher you think is, right? Another perspective can always introduce you to a different way of looking at a problem, right? So if you're taking a course with someone, if you're trying to learn something and you're having a hard time learning it either from that student or from that book or from that video don't think the concept is too difficult to understand find yourself a new instructor maybe a new book to read or a new video to look at okay there's always another perspective that will all of a sudden make you go aha that makes sense i get it right and to me, I've never thought about it this way. As Graham said, 0.7 can go into six more times than one can go into six. Brilliant, right? Brilliant. Thank you for that, Graham, right? Joe, how does this translate to the real world? How does that translate into the real world? If I have six items and I'm asked to divide them by 0.7, how can I do that? because the answer will be 0.87 so I end up with more coins than the number I originally have uh, real world Graham can you think of a real world uh, version of this uh, I mean there's places you have this uh, but I'm trying to think of a simple way a good question by the way uh, percentages percentages uh, 0.7% of six, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of something right now that's more, less percentage based. 70% uh, of, yeah, that's the reverse of it. That's the reverse of it. So what Graham is saying, Joe, by the way, is this. So what you can do is reverse engineer it, right? You could say, hey, what's 70%? Or let's do a question that way. That would question that, that way will be better, right? What if you were going to buy something, right? Let's say you walked into a store, right? And they said, sale, sale, right? Here's your item, right? And they have a tag on there saying sale price. Sale price is $6, right? Sale price is six dollars. Let me write this more clearly so you see it better. I'm going to erase this. Let's make it better. That's a nice example, actually, Grant. So they say sale price, sale price, uh, 
six dollars right 70 sale price 70 percent off 70 percent off and it's six dollars what if you wanted to find the original price you would tell yourself hey the original price times the set the percent off 0 0.7 has to equal 6 so you go x is equal to 6 divided by 0 0.7 and that's going to be 8.57 so that's the original price why would you want to do this well what if you walked into another store and they said sale price sale price um, 65 percent off right and it's 6.25 dollars right well what was the original price of this one right you could do a comparison or something like this right i know that's probably not a tangible one because this involves percentages eagles and cycling think shop or polar sign today no i don't think he would word is out he may but who knows maybe no i don't think so cheryl especially if you're uh, a visual thinker especially if you're a visual thinker right uh, Gina uh, Chicho uh, math question consider a Venn diagram two circles that partially overlap how do you calculate the the air area of each uh, of the three segments uh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be area yeah area okay cool let's draw a Venn diagram I hope that's okay uh, Joe regarding visualizing what the decimal is right uh felix could you explain why we use sin cos tan and how they relate to angles yeah for sure i know how to use trigonometry ratios but i don't know why if that yeah for sure felix and that playlist that i supplied the this thing i hope that's from the playlist it goes into it but you have to dig down a little bit I'll explain that to you, but let's do the Venn diagram. So Venn diagram, we'll need numbers in that Gina. Uh, the real thing, uh, Graham says to Joe, the real thing is that you would never really be asked to do that. That's one way of looking at it, right? Could you define calculus in one or two sentences? Yeah, calculus is an introduction of time into mathematics the rate of change no it's not super complex it's in it's it's basically looking at functions and seeing how they vary over time or over the duration of the function okay the unit circle is a great place to start and that's exactly where i'm going to start with the trigonometry but let's uh, deal with gina's question uh, consider a venn diagram two circles that partially overlap so are you guys okay with red here let's change it change up the color let's go neo neo let's go black again let's go black so we've got two venn diagrams is this black or green what is this is that come oh yeah that comes up okay so we've got two venn diagrams right so this area is overlapping right let's just do this this area is overlapping and we, we would need numbers for this uh, Gina right so I'm just gonna throw numbers on there let's say R is equal to 50 and distance between center point oh so we're not doing statistics we're doing the uh, okay 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 geometry okay 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 so I shouldn't draw them the full size oh I don't like this it doesn't come off nicely let's grab a different color let's grab a blue okay so it's more geometry related yeah yeah sure uh, r is equal the radius is equal to 50 and the distance between center points uh, would be 30. Uh, so this the distance so are they both the same size circle gina keep asking questions if you need same same size circles okay that makes more sense okay so same size circles okay so the radius is 50 so this is 50 and this is 50 
50. And the distance between uh, between between center points is 30. Uh, I should have overlapped them more because the distance here, because if that's 50, that's not close enough. Let me erase it and draw it again. So, oh, sorry, I touched the mic. So we got a circle, okay? This is 50, right? Now, if the distance between the two circles is 30, so the other circle center will be here, okay? So I'm gonna erase this. So the other circle center is here. I'm gonna to try to make it around the same size. So it's like this. Is that crap? <laughs> Crappy circles, by the way. <laughs> Just for theory, the center both are in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's horrendous. Not to scale, not to scale. Yes, good. Okay, so this radius is 50. So we want to find the area here. Is that what we want to do? How do we find the area there? Let's think about this. Let's think about this. So the area of circles, both circles, is going to be the same. So the area of the circles is going to be pi r squared of each circle, right? Yeah, I want to uh, be able to calculate it. How do we calculate the area of this of the center? There's an easy way to do this. What's the trick of doing this? What's the trick of doing this? What's the trick of calculating the area here? Let me think about this. As your distance between the center points change, the area will change. Yeah, I'm thinking about coming up Pythagorean theorem. The, what I was thinking about doing is this. So let's assume the two circles are on top of each other and you move one of the circles in this direction. So what you're going to start getting is circles slowly moving away, right? And you're going to stop it when it reaches 30 here. So what's the best way of doing this? I hope it doesn't involve calculus, tell you the truth. Pythagorean, there's a line segment between the two intersection points that is critical. There's a line segment between the two intersection points that is critical. You're talking about here? Join centers with... Uh, cross points are we talking about going like this that would be a little wacko because that's 50 right hmm i'm looking at the screen right now trying to visualize it yeah that would be 50 so Good question, Gina. You can build a triangle that way for sure, but it's just going to be an approximation, right? Like, and if you can draw this, right? You got this thing going on. You got your diamond. You got right angle triangles. For Pythagorean theorem, you have this thing, but. You could give point points names so it's easier to communicate areas. But this is going to involve, will this involve calculus? Will this involve calculus? Is there a way to do it without calculus? I think it might have to uh, uh, be an approximate. It would have to be an approximation. Um, we can always look at it again next stream. It's just something that's been mulling in my head. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it's related to trigonometry that we want to do after this. Um, 
what are the possibilities what are the possibilities I mean the other possibility is finding out eliminating this area but how do you find the area there you found the proof but it's unclear I think you, you might have to Oh, let me take let me take a look at the proof gang just to see if it's gonna make sense to me area of intersection between two circles Label the center of the circle C and the center of the second circle C prime. Label one of the points of intersection of the two circles A and B. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, which is they're not doing this, they're doing it, taking it all the way to the edge. Okay. area was shaded oh interesting interesting huh and then there's the integration version so for sure it would be that calculus, but I don't like the integration because we're not going to go there. The area was shadow. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Okay. Ah, so we need to find the angle. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That's cool. No, no, but wait a second, that's not a circle. Because the radius would not be that. No, this is assuming that it's from the center of one circle to the center of the other. No, this is not the special case. Special case. There's a proof for special case, but that's not it. We would have to do this on another uh, on another stream. We would have to I would have to look into this more. Uh, yeah unclear to me there's a special case there's one special case where he had it like Gina says the distance between the two centers is 30 right so here let me draw you what they had one of the one of the cases would be this right check this up so if you had a circle and you had and I should draw it better so center is here here's the other center and it goes like this is that better oh god my circles suck the the kicker with this is when you're doing geometry geom geometry problems like this it's really important to try to get a nice perspective on your drawings because that makes it easier for your brain to be able to figure things out right so take a look at this thing oh god this is horrendous this is worse than the last one like seriously do I have a big circle something here I'm trying to draw too big okay let's just do it this way let's assume it's this and this so one version was this got to run Graham go on without me awesome Graham thank you for finding the link Lark hello Chicho funny enough I'm helping my niece with her mouth right on so take a look one version is this figure out the angle here right and you can figure out the area here because if you can figure out that angle whatever that theta is right the full circle area of a full circle is pi r squared right that's the area of a full circle now if this is 50 right so this is the area of the full circle is going to be pi 50 squared right 
50 squared, right? So 5 squared is 25. You add two more zeros, you get that. So that's the area of the full circle for this, right? Now, whatever this angle is, right? The area of full circle, area full circle, full circle is equal to 2500 pi. That was over 360 degrees, right? That's your ratio, conversion ratio. So if you know this angle, whatever this angle might be, you're going to go 2500 pi divided by 360 is going to be the area of the segment area over the angle. Okay, it's just proportionality, right? You can find the angle using trig as you have the triangle side length using the angles. Then you use the angles to calculate the sector size. Add the sectors and take out the triangles. Yeah, so you would figure that out, right? You would do the same here, right? Take a look. You would do the same here because that's the other thing so you would add them right and then remove this because this was being double counted that's actually very cool that's actually very cool right good afternoon good afternoon electric shepherd right so the question is for us right now what is this angle if we know this angle, right, we can do this. So our main problem is to find out what that angle is. What is that angle? Let's check it out. If they're 30 meters apart, right, 30 meters apart, how do we find out that? 30 meters? Oh, we can find that angle. Easy peasy. Nice. Let's do this. Excellent excellent so check this out let me draw and do another drawing watch this super cool question Gina super cool question and thank you everyone for directing us on sunny sunny Leo 98 thank you and uh, oh, did you get it <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna work it out right so cos a over 2 is equal to 50 over uh, this so basically we want this triangle right so if we take this part, the two things here, let's let's do this. Draw it out here. I'm just taking the top part of this, right? We know that this is 50. We know that this whole thing is 30. If we draw a straight line here, right? Then this distance here is 15. This part here. Right? Let me draw that so you can see it better. Right? So if the whole thing's 30, this part is 15, right? So we want to find this angle. This is going to be theta over 2 because theta was the whole thing, right? But let's just call it x. Here, we'll just call it x. Let's call it, or let's call it beta, right? So trigonometry says this is going to be cosine, right? So cos of beta is going to be 15 over 50, right? So we would have to punch that in. So this is five goes into this three times, five goes into 10 times. So this is cos beta is equal to 0 0.3. So beta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.3, right? Whatever that is, let's punch it in. I'm gonna punch it in so we get a number, okay? So 0.3, and we're gonna take inverse cos so that gives us 72 point approximately 72.5 degrees so beta is equal to 72.5 degrees you should actually use the exact number okay so theta over here so this part this part is uh, two the angle is 2 cos inverse of 0 0.3, which is going to be approximately 2 times 
five. What was that number? Uh, five, four, two. So you should take it to ba ba ba, right? So multiply this by two, you get times two. We get 145.084. So we're just going to go to 145 degrees, right? So theta here is 145 degrees. Well, if we know that, now we can plug that into here, right? And find the area of this. Okay. So if we want to find the area of that, it's going to be, this is a messy board, right? I should have drawn my circles here smaller and then work my way. But over here, let's bring this up here. We're going to get 2500 pi over 360 is equal to the area divided by 140, 145 or 100, 145, 145, right? So the area is going to be 2500 pi over 360 times 145, right? That's the area of one chunk. The area of the other chunk, which is going to be this part, is going to be that times 2 because that's going to be the same amount. So this is going to be times 2 and then what do we need to do we, we need to remove the diamond the area of the diamond what's the area of the diamond the area of diamonds easy to calculate because all you need to do is calculate the area here and multiply it by four there's four of them so you do Pythagorean theorem here <laughs> where are we going to do this so we can do Pythagorean theorem here. Let's do this here. Boop. Okay, that one there. Pythagorean theorem says 15 squared plus h squared is equal to 50 squared. So 15 squared is 200. Actually, let's just do this as the squares. So h, if you move your numbers around, is going to be the square root of 50 squared minus 15 squared. So H is going to be equal to, let's punch that in. Ha, I just laid down in bed to think about it. And you came out with the same. So awesome, Danite. Held a message. Can you teach me the math? To... <laughs> what happened to the thing? Okay, Danite took care of it. Thanks, Danite. Appreciate it. So this is going to be. <laughs> troll yeah perhaps the ballistic okay i'm gonna Boop. hey how do we ban the guy should we ban up to you danita up to you if you want to take care of it i would say ban hey it's not loading for me my little thing really and my tolerance for messing around in math, my tolerance for messing around in math <laughs> is very limited, especially because I didn't get my 13 comics. Especially, maybe, maybe, man, I'm banning. That's it. I didn't get my 13 comics today. Why gross crap to... Right? So 50 squared minus 15 squared. <laughs> 50 squared minus 15 squared. Boop. And then you take the square root. 47.7. Uh, so the height is 47.7. 47.7. So the area of the triangle is one half base times height. Right? So it's going to be, let me erase this. It's going to be one half 47.7 times 15. 
whatever that ends up being by the way i forget who your name was that would uh i ended up nuking you uh must crop too if you want to come back message me and we can talk about it okay uh, at a future uh stream so it's 47.7 times times 15 oh my pleasure gina now I'm curious divided by two boop. so it's 357.75 and we're going to multiply it by four times four 1000 so the total area of the pyramid is one uh four three one one four three one and this minus one four three one and that should give you the area of that guy it's going to be two because you have two segments yeah we multiplied it by two here so that segment times two minus the area of the diamond inside i think that's i think i hope we did that right i hope we did that right looks chaos looks chaotic but yeah graham was on the right track same with uh gave us the hint found us the link uh to see it and uh, uh sun in sun in leo 98 uh, helped us out a lot right so nice tag teaming this you could also use the angle to calculate the area of the triangles and end up with cot point three at the end rather than rounding up or down earlier on yeah agreed like i personally if i was doing this i wouldn't be punching in these numbers i would be using cos inverse of point three right you want the exact values for as far as you can go right you don't want to round during the process all right i'm just doing that because i'm very limited and in general they might just want an approximate answer right i love it we'll definitely review the vod okay awesome gina i'm glad you brought up the question very cool and it's related to trigonometry should we ju uh, jump into trig let's jump into trig let's do trig hopefully i didn't make any brain fart mistakes here sometimes i end up doing that write down the wrong number or whatnot but uh, the process is there now uh cool question very cool question right very cool question um uh, yeah very cool question i like it okay let's erase this let's go to trig and then obviously i think there is a, a calculus integration way of doing it as well but we ain't there I brain fart all the time <laughs> me too <laughs> me too <laughs> cheers gang little tea and i got my cookies i got my honey chocolate chip cookies going on not too many chocolate chips but some And I put dried apricots in these too, so super delicious. Let's talk about trig. Properties of triangles. Some. <coughs> Some of the angles in a triangle is 180. For any triangle, some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. The only triangles you like is pizza? No, I'm pretty sure you like other things, other triangles for sure triangles come into play everywhere 
Do you like music? Trigonometry. Do you like light shows? Trigonometry. Right? Four right angle triangles. A, B, C. Keep in mind there's six pieces of info in a triangle. Pieces of slices aren't triangles. <laughs> they're, they're sectors of a circular uh, circular technology uh, technology but they are related to triangles because triangles are related to circles right so triangles definitely are related to pizzas because if pizzas come in circular sizes they're circular shape then that's trigonometry as well right because and the unit circle the way we find ourselves in a coordinate is through triangles right the triangle is also the only shape where the sum of the angles are 180. Every other shape is 360. For this reason, triangles have more structural integrity. They have, and they're, that's why you have tripods. Like tripods are stable, more stable. But with triangles, triangles are the building blocks of all polygons, right? It's like the prime factors of polygons are triangles. For example, if you have this, Here's a polygon, right? What's the sum of the angles of this polygon? Right? Tetrahedral. <laughs> right? Well, break it down into, into its prime building blocks. It's just the same thing as H2O. H2O is H2 and O and H and H, right? The building block of H2O is HHO. The building block of 12 is 2 times 6 and 2 times 3 right <laughs> the building block of this is one triangle two triangles three triangles one two three sorry four triangles right so there are four triangles that this how many shades size one two three four five six six-sided polygon is made of right well what's the sum of the angles in this triangle is 180 times 6 right you can break all polygons into into triangles and then from there you can work out their angles or whatever it is if they're regular polygons this is not to scale not regular polygon right so triangles are your smallest building block of a polygon that's why they're super important one of the other reasons they're super important right so take a look Mm, let's kill this as well triangle has six sides oh sorry six bits of information y times six did i say times six or did i say times four? Oh, i should have said times four poop i made a mistake that was a brain fart that was a chicho brain fart that should have been 180 times four there was four triangles right gotcha yeah chicho brain fart correct my brain farts please Okay, I make, I end up making because I'm mentioning other numbers and other numbers all of a sudden enter the my calculations. Oops, don't do that on an exam. Don't do that on homework, right? There's six pieces of info in a triangle, right? Three sides and three angles, and an angle controls the opposite side. So this angle, this guy controls it. So we're gonna call this capital B. So this angle is called capital B and it controls small case b side right this angle we're going to call a because it controls this side and this angle we're going to call c because it controls that side let's put the a here too so we're consistent right so this angle controls this side this angle controls that side that angle controls that side okay the smallest angle controls the smallest side the medium size angle controls the medium side and the largest angle controls the largest side. If you got a right angle triangles, the 90 degree angle is the largest side. Hence, C is your longest side. Okay. And don't forget, gang, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to, uh, try to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Support him. Right? 
So in a right angle triangle, we have the following other relationship as well, which is the Pythagorean theorem, right? We got one relationship, angles in all triangles equals 180. Hello, Mac, 650. For a right angle triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the relationship that exists between A, B, and C. Okay, and C is your hypotenuse. So the two legs of a triangle squared added together equal the hypotenuse squared. That's another property that we have. There are three other properties of a triangle, features of a triangle, right angle triangle that we also deal with. We should call the trig important ratios, right? So three, trig ratios ratios right which are sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse cos of an angle is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse tan of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side okay those are the properties of a right angle of the trig ratios adjacent side mac i never tr uh, like math do you suggest a book that makes you like math maybe um it really depends what you're into mac what's your interest in life no matter what your interest is in life mathematics can relate to it right if you're interested in business look into mathematics of investing and stuff like this if you're interested in music look into mathematics of trigonometry really frequencies waves and stuff like this if you're interested in engineering there's tons of books out there in engineering um, if you're interested in pure mathematics just look at the algebra as problem solving right we just had a problem we just did a problem where it was complicated it was cool but together we we're able to solve a problem so if you like puzzles mathematics is the place to be right so what do the trig ratios mean ratio is something compared to something else now remember yang there's a difference between a fraction and a ratio fraction and ratio the difference between a fraction and a ratio is this i can give you the following two over three what does two over three mean two over three means part of a whole um, interesting in investing yes I like the math and finance but it's simple compared to you are explaining on advanced math no uh, financial mathematics investing can be extremely complicated some of the most complex mathematics ever done have been in the realm of investing personal finance right you can start off with some simple stuff but it can go into very complicated stuff mathematics is a tool you can build a shed in your backyard or you can build a skyscraper right if you want to do a comparison mathematics is limitless okay and you can apply it into extremely complex uh, levels on any topic even art like paintings and stuff like this hues of colors and play around with that stuff right fraction two over three is part of a whole so if I have a whole thing, I break it into three pieces, I'm going to eat two of them. Two out of three, right? Two parts of a whole. Okay, thank you. Sorry for... No, no worries, Mac. Right? As far as math books go, again, um, I, nothing really comes to mind. I have certain math books that I've used to learn certain topics. Right? If I write down a ratio 2 over 3, ratio 2 over 3 is a comparison of two or more things. So 2 over 3, if it's a ratio, it means two circles versus two triangles. Okay, it's a comparison, right? 2 versus 3. Okay, keep that in mind. So these trig ratios are not fractions their ratios it's a comparison of one thing to another thing right and what are these two things comparing well the formula tells us what it's comparing 
it's saying that the sine of an angle, right? The sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of that angle divided by the hypotenuse of that angle of that triangle, right? So I'm going to erase this part. Okay. So trigonometry says this, if I have a triangle like this, right, right angle triangle, and these only work for right angle triangles, gang. okay, they don't work for non right angle triangles. If this is my theta, the sine of theta is the opposite side, opposite divided by the hypotenuse height. So what does this mean? The ratio, why is this important? Well, it's important because of the following. If I say that, let's assume this is 30 degrees, right? And this is a right angle triangle. And let's assume the hypotenuse of this is five, right? I want, I want to find this X, okay? What I'm going to do is say, use this formula to find X. This is an absolute. It means that it, for any triangle, right? So let's find here. Let me just tell you what sine of 30 is. Sine of 30 degrees. If you punch that to your triangle, you're going to get this. There's a special triangle called this. 30, 90, 60, 1, root 3, 2. If you punch in sine of 30, you're going to get 1 over 2. It's equal to 0 0.5. Okay. Really, right? Here, we're going to punch it in. Let me punch it in. Make sure I didn't do any brain farts here. 30 degrees, and you're going to go sine of that is 0.5 right so sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 now sine of 30 degrees is not 0.5 just for this triangle or for this triangle sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 for any triangle any try no matter how big it is how small it is i used to hate math growing up until i went to college haha <laughs> yeah a lot of people right so if i give you a triangle like this I say this is 30 degrees and I ask you what the ratio is between this side and this side you will tell me that it's 0.5 the ratio of this side let's call this the opposite side and let's call this a hypotenuse the ratio of this divided by this opposite over hype is equal to 0 0.5 that's what I wrote down here by the way where is it right so if you have one of these you can always find the other one so if the hypotenuse is 5 you just put 5 here oops then the opposite side is going to be 0 0.5 times 5 which is 2.5 so we know this is going to be 2.5 okay. so the ratios the trig ratios are an absolute okay for specific angles it's the relationship of one side of a right angle triangle relative to the other may it be adjacent versus the hypotenuse opposite versus the hypotenuse or opposite versus the adjacent it could be this divided by that that divided by that or this divided by that or it could be this divided by that that divided by that or that divided by that there's six different combinations you could do with this right and that's what the trig ratios are they're not some people think these are magic they're not right it's just a way of saying instead of saying what's the real What's the ratio between the opposite side of an angle and its hypotenuse? That's the definition of sine theta. But that's too long. 
right as I've said before mathematicians are some of the laziest people you'll find and they try to simplify things and they end up calling these things sine cosine and tangent where they got those names from I haven't looked into the history where the name came from I hope that's clear is, is that clear does that make sense would you like expanding on that uh, I forget who was asked that trigonometry trigonometry I'm just going enough to see who asked about the trigs uh, trig ratios and by the way if you already have the opposite and the hypotenuse so let's assume you have a triangle here let's erase this let's assume you have a triangle You already have the two sides or two sides you're trying to compare let's assume you have this is 6 and this is uh, 15 and you want to find angle theta well you want to find this angle and the two sides that you have is this and this remember if this is a 90 degree triangle you can always find this just using a Pythagorean theorem right but right now we don't care if we're trying to find theta so if you're trying to find theta what am I looking at mathematics if you're trying to find theta well what sides of this triangle do you have relative to this angle you have the opposite side and the hypotenuse so you look at your formulas you go which formula has opposite and hypotenuse oh we got this one opposite and hypotenuse so just fill in the blanks so you got sine theta is equal to 6 over hypotenuse is 15 right so how do you isolate now the only variable you need to get by itself now is theta and the way you isolate this on your calculator you got something called second function of the sine sine inverse so the way you separate the sine and the theta you got theta is equal to sine inverse of 6 over 15 and if you punch that in you'll find out what the angle is and that's the ratio of what the opposite side is relative to the hypotenuse of this angle and if you punch that in here let's punch it in 6 divided by 15 and you go trigonometry second sine is 23.6 degrees so theta is equal to 23.6 degrees so any triangle that has an angle any right angle triangle that has an angle of 23.6 degrees its ratio will always be 6 over 15 which is really 2 over 5.4 so the relationship between this side relative to this side that divided by that will be 0.4 right what does that mean what's 15 times 0.4 it's six so the opposite side will always be 0.4 40 percent of the length of the hypotenuse okay no we only open up a black hole when we divide by zero if you divide by zero black hole pops boop, and the universe explodes right that's where the black hole comes in from okay that's what the black hole is why can't we travel at the speed of light enigma why can't we travel at the speed of light do you like sci-fi i hope you like sci-fi why can't you travel at the speed of light for anyone that's like star trek star wars any any sci-fi infinite mass right if you try to travel at the speed of light you get infinite mass do you know why you get infinite mass I'm gonna erase this the reason you get infinite mass is because in Einstein's paper on the electrodynamics of moving bodies no, not zero mass infinite mass in uh, uh, in uh, Albert Einstein's paper that he wrote on the electrodynamics of moving bodies if you end up traveling at the speed of light and 
his equations, whatever the equation is, I forget what all the symbols are, in the bottom, you're going to get velocity minus c. And velocity is your speed, and c is the speed of light. Oops. Speed of light. So if your velocity, your v, is equal to the speed of light, you're going to get whatever the rest of the variables are, whatever the rest of the variables are, there's a couple here, right? You're going to get, if your velocity is the same as speed of light, you're going to get c minus c, which is going to be that over that times zero, and you're going to get whatever that is, that times zero is zero, you're going to get a division by zero, and the universe explodes. You can't divide by zero. That's the limitation of mathematics. Right? Donite, light has no mass. How can it have infinite mass? Now, uh, not infinite mass. Why we can't travel to the speed of light? We, anything in this universe of matter. So no matter can tra can travel at the speed of light. So nothing material that has any type of weight can travel at the speed of light because this mass would be infinite. It would require an infinite amount of energy to take this pen and make it travel at the speed of light traveling without moving elder god how are you doing fold space that's why there's a lot of in science fiction there's a huge uh huge emphasis on folding space like in dune right the the worm the spice uh, the worm creatures the the spice that you get off uh, arachnus from uh the worms that allows that certain uh, species to be able to fold space and you just step over that space right so if this is your space let's say let's just planar you fold this you bring these two points together you step over unfold and you've traveled light years without moving right that's different though yeah for sure light can travel at the speed of light because light is light fear is the mind killer fear is the mind killer fear is the mind killer and this is the, here's the kicker with mathematics a lot of people hate mathematics because they fear mathematics so right away boop, they just killed their minds they're not they're not able to process information their their learning capacity is reduced right which is very unfortunate folding space is possible i think so too I think folding space is possible. I don't think we're there mathematically or uh, mathematically we are, but we're not there practically. We can't do it right now. Mathematically speaking, yeah. Theoretically speaking, yeah. Ab, ab before. How could we know the exact trigonometric value of every angle? Uh, there used to be, before calculators, there used to be tables you looked at. You looked up at it's actually from a C a series uh, it's like I forget what the sequences are it, it, it's it, it, it's a series of numbers that you add together it's an infinite series so it's like x squared plus x squared over 2 plus x squared over 4 plus x squared x squared over 8 plus dot dot plus I, I don't know what the exact series are but that's how they generated it so with your calculator when you type in inverse sine of a number so if you type in sine so theta is equal to inverse sine of 0 0.4 which we got which was 23 point something right what was it do i still have it up yeah so this was equal to 23 point five seven eight uh one seven eight four one seven eight four uh seven eight two zero seven eight two zero dot 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 the more accurate the significant figures here are based on how far down the sequence you go now i don't know if this is this isn't the sequence uh series for sign but it's something along those lines sorry i just woke up getting ready for 
2120. <laughs> what a ride, what a ride. <laughs> what a ride, what a ride. No, it's you don't need to apologize, but that's where it comes from. And I don't know the sequence in the series. Um what what they are for sun and cosine and stuff. You missed it by about a year. Oh yeah, it's twenty one twenty. It should be twenty one twenty one. Right? Or one twenty twenty one. Depending on which convention you follow. Good catch, Gina, by the way. Good catch. Fun. Gang, that's a fun stream. Great problem at the beginning. Great problem at the beginning. And we did a little bit of uh, trick. You missed the joke. Did I miss the joke? What did I miss? 2120. 2120. Oh, what? No. 2120. Rush? Tw no, that's not Rush. 2112. 2120. What's the joke? I missed the joke. What's the joke, Elder God? Let us know what the joke is. What the hell? That went over my head then. 2120. 20. Hold the space again. Fold the space again. <laughs> Cheryl comes in. Cheryl slips in there. Fold the space again. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hold on. I want to know what this joke is. What's going on? 20. 1. 20. 21. 20. I don't know. I want to know the joke. I can't remember jokes. I laugh at certain jokes, but some of my jokes were pretty nasty. Hey guys, what's up? Tony Buzz, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, brother or sister, right? I hope you're doing well. Enjoying your Tuesday afternoon. Or if you're across the other side of the planet, your Wednesday morning. Never mind. It's a dark joke. Is it a dark joke? Oh, Elder God, tell tell us the dark joke joke on uh, uh, on Discord. Have you heard something about the uh, Laurent sequence? Yeah, I can't put it. Uh, I don't remember what it is. Yeah, but if you study mathematics, you, you you I I know I've dealt with it. I just can't remember it. I don't remember what it is. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Good morning. Not for mathematics stream, not for mathematics streams. <laughs> we gotta be strict with that from now on. None of the none of the other chaos in math and comic books and whatnot. Uh unless comic books are dealing with the chaos, of course, right? It's just it's gone too far. God we it's gone too dark. <laughs> it's gone so dark Chicho can't even get his thirteen comics he bought. I have popcorn ready for tomorrow. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be a non-event. I think it's going to be a non-event. But tomorrow, I'm actually going to be on someone else's uh, video where uh, they, they want to talk politics with me. So uh, here, let me let me find you their website or their YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, they're not live streaming it. They're, it's going to be pre-recorded, but they'll have the video up later on tomorrow or the following day hopefully i don't put my foot in my mouth um but gang if you want to follow these uh these guys they're on youtube they have a youtube channel uh, they share lots of information great bunch uh great a couple couple of couple of people and they bring in a lot of guests and uh and uh they're they're grassroots foots on the ground in the United States talking politics economics and some of the turmoil that's going on grassroots like if you're getting any type of information this is the type of people you want to uh, you want to listen to and get their perspective on what's really going on right Cheryl I always tell jokes out of, out of order <laughs> so several friends stop me and say hold on are you telling a joke if so just stop right there haha <laughs> at which point we're all rolling <laughs> did he mail back 
Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I haven't checked my email. Oh, I'm so disappointed, really. I, every time I think about it, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter, right? But we do have our little joys that we like to, we like to uh, indulge. No, he hasn't emailed back yet. I don't expect to hear from him. Uh, I don't know. No, no, didn't, didn't email back yet. Very weird. Th this is like the weirdest. If it was a scam, it's the weirdest scam I've, I've ever had perpetrated on me, because, uh, because I, I still got graphic novels <laughs> sent to me. <laughs> The guy had to pay for shipping, tracking. Uh, the deal we got on the books was already amazing, but those books were pretty important, right? And the Elder God, Kung Fu Fighter, the first appearance of Kung Fu Fighter is, it was in there. I don't have it. Pooper scooper, right? I need to be here so bad now. No, you said January, nothing, Elder God. You've received good value for uh, for this guy. I know. <laughs> that's, that's like the that's the kicker, Gina. It's the weird because I checked some of the books. We checked some of the books. There, some of those books were mint condition. Like we got, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number three, second print of number three, and second print of number five. Like in pretty very nice condition, right? And plus. Cerebus, like early issues and first appearances up to yin yang and uh, special covers like one in 25 175 bucks for 250 dollars including shipping plus we've got gideon's falls trade paperback one two three four brand new that's like a reverse scam but it's just the weirdest scam i know it, it's just i think the scam was you get so excited you build up your uh uh your oh my god i got the greatest deal on earth on ebay during this buy and it brings down to a level was oh i got a really great deal not the greatest deal i ever got on ebay but a really great deal <laughs> it's weird it's very weird very weird the funny experience funny experience it is what it is it is what it is funny i know elder god my kung fu fighter number one it was in the mail but it was gideon falls it was in the mail twice but it never showed pooper scooper pooper scooper and first appearance of Hunt huntress anyway it is what it is we'll see what happens can't do anything about it now but the uh, fun gang so um this was the last sort of uh, stream for this set for scheduled live streams. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on that show. They'll have the video up either tomorrow or next day. Okay, I'm not sure what the discussion is going to be. It's an interesting day to have it. Wow, wow, wow. All right. And then we also get two kittens tomorrow. Our two kittens are supposed to arrive tomorrow. I hope they arrive. The comic books didn't arrive. I hope the kittens arrive. The kittens arriving, I'm going to do some random streams of the kittens. We're going to show you our kittens and uh, introduce you to our kittens and our kittens names are sal and via they're two boys they're brothers okay so two brothers uh sal and via and hopefully finger crossed everything goes okay they arrive tomorrow and we'll do streams uh random streams and i'll show you guys the the kittens i hope you love them i still need to meet my comics for our, oh you still haven't oh you haven't gone there that's right pooper scooper i hope they're like i packaged them tight in foam and stuff um i hope they haven't been sitting there too long getting squished uh, hopefully not uh, but you'll get them at some point <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> at some point the lockdowns are going to be over right anyway gang look i hope you have a fantastic day thank you for being here as for my outro i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative Commons. share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work for a while and for those of you who just just joined up thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this 
And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power for humanity. Right? More information on Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist, of course. Right? We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Those of you who've been following, subscribing, bits, points participate in the discussion showing up to the live streams and the mods thank you for taking care of business thanks chicho and great question gina i enjoyed that yeah great question the circle one was fantastic right fantastic yes thank you chicho. Uh, yeah me too me too and thank you graham and thank you uh graham and sun sunny sun in leo 98 for helping us out uh, to solve that thing and graham for finding the link for us right i do announce these live streams before we go live on minds lo vk gap parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do have a discord page you can come to our channel anytime you want i'm punching social and all the links will pop up and there's a discord link there where People have joined the Discord page, 700 plus people sharing information, talking, uh, challenging each other, you know, sharing as much as we can. Open discourse, right? No censorship. Okay. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O is a podcast, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading this video, this live stream to YouTube, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. I'm most likely going to use twitch's editor to break up the question for for this with the circles into one segment and the question for the trigonometry into another segment and then upload the full stream uh so that's what i'm sort of uh gearing towards right now to doing and uh, if you're on those platforms you can share you can like subscribe you can uh comment and if you're on youtube you can uh support this work by joining youtube membership there's a button there for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support and as elder god says the sleeper must awaken okay and the sleeper could be inclusive uh, not just an individual gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next few days rumble needs me new follower more followers indeed on all the platforms on all the platforms bye everyone